In this video, I will try to replace this chair with this chair. To do this I will use two extensions today. One is Canvas Zoom. Another is the Photo P extension. You can find the extension links in the description. Let's go to the Photo P extension. Let's import two images here. If you are familiar with Photoshop already, you can see the workflow is the same here. I am trying to select the chair properly. Then I am inverting the selection. And removing the background with the background eraser tool. Now let's copy this image and paste it into the main image. Now we have to place this image properly. We can use the free transform feature to adjust the size. You can ask if we have the photo P extension then why we are not doing all the editing steps only with photo P and why do we need automatic 1111? It's because I am using photo P just for image layering purposes as automatic 1111 doesn't have this feature yet. We will do the rest of the job with Automatic 1111. Now export this image. Then go to Automatic 1111 Image to Image tab. Then into In Paint Sketch tab. Drag and drop the image we exported here. You can see the Canvas Zoom extension is working behind. If you hover the mouse over the eye icon, you can see some extra features have been added to the canvas. We can press the S button for full screen mode. Control plus will to adjust the brush size. Alter plus will to zoom the canvas. By pressing the F button we can move the canvas. By pressing the T button we can open the color picker. Pick the color from the nearest point where we want to cover or erase something. Then paint the area precisely. We have to do this carefully to get a good result. It doesn't need to be 100% accurate, but paint the way to cover the areas properly, or it will create extra artifacts. Now zoom out the canvas by pressing the S button. Select Mask Mode in Paint Masked, Masked Content Original, and in Paint Area Whole Picture. Set Denoising Strength to 0.75. Click this icon to detect image resolution. Now let's write a simple prompt for this image. Now let's generate the image. Now send this image into the Image to Image tab. Set denoising strength to 0.25. and generate the image again. You can see the image is looking more realistic now. So this was the idea of how we can replace an object with another using automatic 1111. These steps can be done more precisely to get an amazing result. Thanks for watching. Like, 
comment, and subscribe to this channel.